Hello gorgeous. So today is Simpsons Sunday, which means I get to talk about Simpsons on a Sunday. I thought for my first ever Simpsons Sunday I'd do kind of a pretty basic premise for a Simpsons video, and I just tell you 10 random facts about the Simpsons which you might not know. You probably do, because you might be a Simpsons nerd if you're watching an entire video dedicated to it, but you also might not know. Sometimes I watch these things you might not know about the Simpsons videos and I'm like, yeah, I know. 90% of those. But let's see. I did have to research quite a few of these quite extensively, so we'll see. Fact number one. Homer's voice was originally a water mouth impression. In the early Tracy Ullman show days, you may have noticed that his voice sounded really stupid. And eventually it got so hard for Dan Castellaneta to do the voice that it just kind of changed into Homer. And then BAM! You have Homer's voice, which is way more classic than a water mouth impression. I guess all the best things that happen are accidents. Fact number two. The person who came up with the idea to make The Simpsons yellow was not matte graining and in fact was a colorist at Klasky Chupo called Goyogi Palouse. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. He made the characters yellow because he believed they looked a bit crude and scary if they were just human colored and actually making them yellow made them look a bit more warm and like less crude. And it was a stroke of genius because now The Simpsons are so familiar and well known. Another reason for The Simpsons being yellow was because the original segments on The Tracy Ullman Show were so short, it was so they would stand out in the show, and they did. And I think if The Simpsons weren't yellow, that might have majorly affected whether or not they became a full-length show. So that's pretty cool. Fact number three. Several of The Simpsons writers were hired after a magazine named Army Man was floating around. Army Man is a Xerox magazine. It was created by George Myers and outlet. If you read Army Man you'll notice that a lot of the humour in Army Man definitely reflects The Simpsons and one of the things that made The Simpsons so unique was its humour and was the way it decided to tell jokes. This magazine somehow ended up on the desk of Sam Simon who was the head writer at the time who was assembling the first ever Simpsons writing star who saw it and was like yeah I'll hire those guys. So he hired a bunch of writers from Army Man to write on The Simpsons. Two of these included George Meyer and John Swartzwelder, who are two of the funniest, most influential Simpsons writers, like, ever. Fact number four, in the early days, like the first two seasons, a lot of celebrities would not use their real names when guest starring on the show, as they worried about how it would affect their career if they were just on some cartoon show. So celebrities like Michael Jackson and Dustin Hoffman did not use their real name. Michael Jackson was credited as John J. Smith in the credits of the episode he was in. And Albert Brooks had his name as A. Brooks, although that's not very good at hiding it, Albert, because if you see A. Brooks, I automatically think Albert Brooks, so he's still credited as A. Brooks whenever he's on an episode to this day. Fact number five the name of Selma's pet iguana Jub Jub was named by ex Simpsons writer Conan O'Brien. Conan said that there was a void in The Simpsons writer where everything would fall in and a lot of it would probably end up on the show. And he just said Jub Jub in that moment and then BAM! Ends up on the show. Fact number six. In the season four episode, Lisa's first word, we see Bart getting a clown bed made by Homer and ending up looking very scary rather than funny. This is actually based on Simpsons writer Mike Reese's experience when his dad built him a clown bed and it just looked a bit weird. And actually a lot of stories that happened on Simpsons were based on the writer's real experiences. I sometimes find that a lot of the best things I write are based on my own experiences, which, I don't know, I'm plagiarizing my own life. Fact number seven, in 1992, Tracy Ullman filed a lawsuit against The Simpsons. She said she basically breastfed those little devils, and if it wasn't for her, then they wouldn't be successful. She was right to some extent, but when The Simpsons were on The Tracy Ullman Show, she was known for not liking them at all, and she didn't have any involvement in actually making them, so she lost the lawsuit. Fact number eight, you may know that Matt Groening's father is named Homer, hence why Homer is called Homer, but you may not also know that Matt Groening has a son called Homer <laughs> because he felt bad for naming this horrible apish character after his own dad. So, hey dad, it's okay. I named my son after you. Fact number nine, the voice of Carl, played by Hank Azaria, is actually just a funny voice that Hank Azaria did and was just like, hey, I'm gonna put that in a voice. And if you listen to Carl's voice, it is a very silly voice and it just works for some reason. And fact number 10, you may know The Simpsons' first episode as being The Simpsons' roast on an open fire, but the actual first episode was Some Enchanted Evening, which actually aired at the end of the season. What happened with Some Enchanted Evening is it got made and the animation came back and it looked 
awful. It looked so bad that it was a bit of a disaster and the show nearly went off the air, but luckily it didn't and they had the Christmas episode instead. So the show could have effectively ended after that, thank god it didn't. If you want to watch that, you can't, I can't find it online, but it is on The Simpsons Season 1 DVD, so if you want to watch it, don't, because it's scary. It gives me nightmares, everything looks so weird. If you think the first episode was crude, look at that one. I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be tomorrow, which means that I won't get any sleep, and yeah, bye!